it's the first day of real fall weather. So I got my fall shirt on, flannels, leaves, and lattes, and my cardigan, my cozy cardigan. It's kind of a yucky, dreary day, but I'm totally okay with that. But I am actually gonna head out and go to Costco and Trader Joe's and stock up our pantry. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you what I got. And So, favorite drink at Dunkin' is a vanilla oat milk latte. Delicious. So I am going to share my big stock up haul at Costco. So we are a family of eight. The majority of this that I'm sharing with you today is actually um, for the whole month. And some of it is just like restock kind of stuff. So if you think, oh my word, she spent that much. This is literally like most of our grocery budget for the month. Now I did spend extra because there was a lot of things that I needed to restock on. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you everything I got. Um, so I'm gonna start with Costco and I will give you my totals at the end. The that I got was some deli meat and honestly, I meant to go grab another pack of this. So this ended up, it was on sale, but um, the cost breakdown ended up being only $5 and something a pound, which is amazing. And you can throw these in the freezer because they're individual packs and just pull them out when you need them. So, um, I doubt I'll go back to Costco because I only go like once a month. But if for some reason I'm out that way, I may pick up another pack or two just to throw in the freezer because that is an awesome deal on some really good quality deli meat. So, the next thing is I got this in one of my other grocery hauls. The cost breakdown was like pretty much what it would be if I bought um, just chicken breast. But this is ready cut chicken breast. Um, it's, you know, no antibiotics and all that jazz. Um, anyway, I like to keep this on hand for when I am doing a stir fry or need to get dinner on the table quick. It is raw chicken, but it's just cut up and it cooks really fast. So I got some more of that. Then I got a big bag of frozen chicken breast, and these are the thin cut. I do have some chicken breast in the freezer already, um, but I wanted to make sure that I had plenty for this month. I also got a big pack of um, chicken, boneless, skinless chicken thighs that um, I'm going to throw in the freezer as well. So we will be set on our chicken. We did purchase half of a cow, so we don't have to worry about any of... Um, so we don't have to worry about any beef. So we have plenty of meat now in the freezer for the whole month and probably more than just this month as far as the chicken goes because we do already have some in there. So over here, so I got um, a bag of frozen flounder. And then I also got, we like to do like peppers and onions and stuff like that as meals. And they had this andouille chicken sausage. They had these on sale. And um, normally we get these um, apple chicken sausages, but I wanted to branch out and try something new. So I got these instead. And they also had, the kids actually really like turkey bacon. And they had this on sale as well. This kind of turkey bacon is really good. We like it a lot. And then we love these. We like to just keep these on hand for when we do chicken fried rice or something. And then we throw these in as a side. And these were on sale this month. Um, it was like a big discount. I wanna say they were only $6.99 a bag. So I went ahead and I got two bags just so um, we have them for next month as well on hand um, because that was such a good price. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and now that I've shown you these, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this stuff in the freezer in the refrigerator because 
Um, Costco is like 45 minutes from our house. So um, I'm gonna go take care of that now, real quick. Now that I have all my meat and frozen stuff up, I'm gonna go through the other things. So I got a big bag of these potatoes. We really like to use these to roast them or to make that soup of Toscana or um, just to make like a mashed potato. Mm, they're really good as like a garlic mashed potato. Then I got a big pack of unsalted butter. We do have, I think, one or two containers in the freezer still, but we do use quite a bit of butter for baking and all of the things. Then I am loving this rice. I got this a few months ago, and we still have half a bag left of the other one, but uh, I went ahead and got this one because it's really good, and you never know when they're gonna start running out of rice again. So, uh, they had our Annie's Mac and Cheese on sale I think it was $9.99 for 12 packs. The next thing is we are entering the season of baking. So I did go ahead and get a big bag of sugar because we also just need to replenish that in the pantry down here. This is my own guilty pleasure. I wanted to try this. Sounded really good. So I went ahead, this was on sale, I think for $4.99 for this big, huge bag of granola. So I got this pumpkin seed and flax granola. I got a big container of sour cream, big container of cheese. This cheese is really, really good. This New York extra sharp cheddar, and that will last us quite some time. Okay, so um, I got two containers of blueberries. I didn't get any strawberries or raspberries or blackberries because the price of those was insane. The kids are on a huge plum kick right now. I love plums as well. So this big container was only $4.99. And then I got some mushrooms because we love mushrooms, but also we have a really yummy stir fry that we love with zucchini and mushrooms in it. And so I will be sharing my meal plan in a separate video. So stay tuned for that recipe. Then I got two bunches of bananas. I also got some rice ramen because when we make stir fries and things like that, yum. Um, we like to put noodles with it sometimes. This is not like ramen noodles. Um, this is literally just like the noodles, okay? And it's made from rice and millet. So then I got a big bag of Brussels sprouts because Oh, it's the season of delicious, hearty Brussels sprouts and things like that for sides, and we love Brussels sprouts. Um, so sad to have to buy cucumbers for the simple fact that we had an overabundance of cucumbers in our garden this year, but all good things must come to an end. So, we are back to buying these delicious little guys at Costco. My kids love to munch on those. I probably should have gotten two of them. Um, I also got some spinach, a big box of spinach, and a big old thing of romaine hearts for salads and such. Um, I also got a big thing of celery sticks to eat for various things, snacks or sods or in recipes, you know, all the things. Um, I got chips to eat throughout the month. So Pirate's Booty is our kids, one of our kids' favorite um, little snacky side things that they like to have with their lunch. And these were on sale for only like $3 and something a bag. And these are the giant 18 ounce bags. Then we got some of their tortilla chips, which we love as well. In this pile, I got a, um, what do you call these? A box, I guess, a flat, I don't know. A box of tomato sauce and then tomato paste. I am running really low on these two things in my pantry. Um, and when we make, so we have a ton of tomatoes even now coming out of the garden, but I do not take the time to make tomato paste. It takes forever and the amount of tomatoes that go into paste is just not worth it to me. So I buy that. And then the same with the tomato sauce because I preserve my tomatoes for things like salsa and spaghetti sauce, like crushed tomatoes and diced tomatoes. So I just buy this. Okay, and I bought a big box of the soft and chewy chocolate chip granola bars. How many are in this? There's like a lot in this. Oops, I just ripped that. 
um, 64 bars. And then for Noah, and then Noah needed to dapper his little bottom, so I got a big old box of those, 180, that will last us more than a month. All right, so then we needed to replenish our bath tissue, as they call it, so toilet paper. Also needed to get an extra bottle of vinegar because I just opened our reserve vinegar. Um, and so that will go in the pantry just to make sure we don't run out. Um, believe it or not, did y'all have a hard time finding vinegar during the height of the pandemic? Because I sure did. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those. So we do have a little bit of toilet paper now. You guys, this toilet paper right here lasts our family over a month. Family of eight over a month. So anyway, I, I just got this to make sure that we had plenty. And then I bought our yearly giant pack of paper towels. Yes, guys, yearly stash of paper towels. I know that sounds crazy, but um, we just don't use paper towels a lot because we use um, washable towels. And so, yeah. So that is why I got those paper towels. Like I said, they'll last us probably a year or close to it. All right, so over here to end the Costco haul, I got two packages of bagels. So I'm gonna put one in the freezer and then one to eat this week. These mold fast for us, so um, that's how I'm gonna handle that. I got some non bread and a big thing of tortillas. And then they have this on sale. The kids really like it for breakfast with some fruit on the side, um, toasted with a little butter on it. And so I thought one in the freezer for another week and this one for this week or the next week, I don't know. Um, so we are good with the, you know, carby sides for breakfast this month. So um, these were on sale for six bucks for a two pack of footed pajamas for Lily. I wish they had had some for Noah. Um, some undies, and then I got some collagen, the kids' vitamins. I should have gotten two of those. Didn't think about that. Maybe I will be back at Costco before the month is done. Um, some sea salt. We use Himalayan pink salt, you know, um, when we're cooking, but this for, like, baking salt. And then same with the fine ground pepper. Another thing of honey, because ours is halfway full, and I have, like, a small jar from a local person in our pantry so we don't want to run out of that we use it for baking and all the things some blueberry fruit spread a big thing of eggs some more maple syrup and a big old thing of mayonnaise so that is my costco haul trader joe's we like to get fun snacks from there and apples i really like their apple prices nuts Things like that. Um, all of my oils, my coconut aminos is only $2.99 a bottle from there versus $6.99 a bottle at the grocery store. And it's even for organic coconut aminos. Um, so all my oils, all that kind of stuff, I always get from Trader Joe's. So um, I'll show you everything I got. So I got one big English cucumber. I got some zucchini. Um, I also got some sugar snap peas. I got two bags of frozen broccoli. And then I'll get like fresh broccoli and kale and all that kind of stuff from our grocery store from Kroger. But it won't be in this haul. It'll be separate. And that is part of our fill-in for the month when I do that. So, um, as far as snacks and stuff, uh, the kids love these Cheddar Rocket crackers. So, I wasn't going to get anything seasonal. But I decided to get these as something fun for the kids to try. And we also don't buy a lot of cereal just because they're hungry when they eat it. And, like, they'll eat it and then they're hungry, like, 30 minutes later. So, what's the point in eating cereal for breakfast if you're hungry right after? But, anyway, so that's why I don't buy it a lot. Plus, it's just not very good for you. And, um, anyway, sorry, rambling. Um, but I did get this for them for a fun snack. They'll probably eat that as a snack. Um, we do have a lot of apples that I bought a big bulk amount from a discount natural food store. Um, but we love apples and so I got a bag of their gala apples and then those are pink lady apples. And then I got a box of just their crackers that are like Ritz crackers. These are really good. 
And then I also got a bag of lemons and a lime. Um, and then I got some pepperonis. I can't remember if I said, no, I don't think I did. Okay, so I got some Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago shaved cheeses. And I also got some coconut almond vanilla creamer. And then I got, then I got these to go with breakfast for the kids. I thought they would enjoy that. They really like hash browns and um, so I saw those and I just thought, why not? Um, so then we also really like Trader Joe's coffee, just their regular coffee. We like all of their coffees, but just the regular is kind of our go-to. So I ground that in the store and so it's ready to go. And then I got another bag of baby carrots. We've got some in the fridge already, but um, we've been eating a lot of these lately. And then I got a bigger bag of their other like rainbow carrots. Then I got another seasonal item, guys. Um, again, I just thought the kids would enjoy this on the bagels I got from Costco. So I got some pumpkin cream cheese spread. Sounded good. The next thing, I love to get these little mini cinnamon brooms this con this time of year from Trader Joe's. They're only like 99 cents. They smell amazing, and I just keep them in the kitchen because they smell like fall. Anyway, um, and then another seasonal item. They had this. There was, This was actually the last one in our store, and I was like, hmm, maybe I'll get that. We actually didn't need it, but, I mean, we'll use it. So, <laughs> another snack item. We got some of these peanut butter-filled pretzels. And also, we love their honey wheat pretzels. Normally, I get a couple of bags of those, but since I got these, I just got one of each this time. Then, another seasonal item, guys. What is wrong with me in these seasonal items I keep grabbing up? Okay, so we like apple butter, and I thought, well, we'll give pumpkin butter a go. So, I got that. The next thing I got, I keep seeing all this stuff where people say jackfruit tastes like or has the texture of pulled pork. I don't know. I just grabbed it and thought, well, I'll try it one day. It might be a fun thing to try. So... That's that random purchase. Um, and then I got two bottles of coconut aminos. We love this in place of soy sauce. We needed some more olive oil. This is my favorite kind, hands down. I just love this one. It even has the little pour spout. We love it. Then I also needed some more avocado oil. I was going to get it at Costco because that's where I normally get it. And they were out for some reason. They didn't have any avocado oil. They had every other kind but that. And then this, we don't do a lot of soy, um, but oh my word, you guys, this stuff is so good. We just use it, I mean, it's soyaki, so it's teriyaki, marinade for meat, poultry, blah, blah. We don't use it as a marinade. We just add a little bit of it to when we have fried rice or anything that we want to add it to like that. We love Asian-inspired dishes, so we do a lot of stir fries and stuff. Then I also got a bag of rainbow trail mix and then also the simply best trek mix so it's got almonds cashews pineapples cherries and cranberries and then we have our pastas so i have quite a few things of spaghetti noodles um and so i like to get trader joe's different pastas this one i like to get to make like pasta salad sometimes and I was out of those, so I wanted to keep those on hand. Then I got some penne pasta. And look, guys, another seasonal item. This is, I guess, butternut squash pasta. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. What is wrong with me? Anyway, <laughs> um, I'll let you know if it's good, though, because I am going to eat it. It won't go to waste. Don't worry. And then I also got, I needed some onions, and we needed some more russet potatoes. We have about half of a big bag left, so I got this bag to get us through the month. Then, I love this. This is my, one of my favorite snacks. So, it's just mango slices, literally just mango, and they are dried, 
mango. I don't know what else to say about that, but I love them. And so, yeah. And then, you guys, I love kimchi. And so, I grabbed that. It's actually already been opened, but um, <laughs> by me, not by someone else. Then, I also got um, a bag of sweet potatoes for a couple of meals. And I think that is it. So, that is my Trader Joe's haul. I will let you know my totals. Let me go grab my receipts. I also got myself a new succulent. If you hang around on my Instagram page ever, <laughs> you may have seen my Insta stories where Noah, actually my one-year-old, ate my succulent plant that I had had for over a year. So, when I was at Trader Joe's, I got myself a new succulent. So, yay! All right, so for my totals for Trader Joe's, it was $142.20. And then for Costco, it was $485.27. But that's with a lot of stock up. That's with a lot of things that needed to be replaced and replenished in our pantry. So that is my hauls. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys. I will be doing a video soon, probably this coming week, on how I meal plan, what our meal plan is, and we'll be sharing that with you guys. So if you're wondering where, what I'm gonna do with all this food, I will be sharing that soon. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you push that subscribe button and the notification bell down below, and I'll see you guys on future videos. Thanks so much, and have a blessed day.